So the way QCL, quantum cascade lasers, are used in self-protection is to generate a color of light that looks like the, the engine exhaust of an airplane. All right, and so that wavelength is in what we call band four um, infrared spectrum. The QCL lasers, we can actually make directly lays in that color. So we, we apply an electrical signal and we can get band four energy out uh, directly. So once we are in the right color, what we do is we modulate the beam, so we blink it on and off uh, to simulate the effects that the missile seeker would have on the airplane to give it a false target to decoy the missile away from the airplane. We actually use it in all four branches of the service right now. So we make a, a product that goes into the, to the Army that's part of a, a larger system called Kirkham. We also make a product that goes into a Navy-run program called DA Irkham. But that program services the Navy, the Marine Corps, and the U.S. Air Force. So we're actually using these quantum cascade lasers across the entirety of DOD. Literally the same module, QCO module, that we have for the Army is the module we have for the Air Force or the Navy or the Marine Corps. So it's very cost effective uh, for the U.S. government to have that, that commonality of supply. The immediate market that, that we plugged this into was kind of scientific research. Right, looking at uh, how different molecules emitted energy in the spectrum. So we would excite the molecule with the laser, it would relax, give a color off, and you can see what type of chemicals are inside a sample, for example. Since we were doing that in the band four region, the DOD labs realized that they wanted that same capability in infrared countermeasure systems. And so we, we were able to take that fundamentally commercial activity transfer it into the Defense Department, right, to do infrared countermeasures. It works quite well. But it's not limited to, to an airborne platform. So for example, we have a, a product that we're doing for the night vision labs for the U.S. Army uh, that's a ground-based application. So we do it in the mid and long wave using the QCL modules to do exactly that. We've used QCL modules to make beacons to go on special operations boats so they can be tracked you know, clandestinely day or night right, in all conditions. Uh, so really not limited to airplanes.